You guys know what kind of spider this is? How are we doing? I'm Martin from Gardens for Life. In this video, we're going to be talking about the three fastest growing trees that you can grow in your garden. The best part is you can grow all of them from cuttings, so you never need to buy a seed again. You can just keep taking cuttings off your own trees and keep propagating them like that. Tree number one today is the willow tree. So willows are tremendously useful because they grow a tremendous amount of wood. See this, we cut these back every year and you can get growth like this in only one year. So this is like five meters or about 15 feet worth of wood. And look at the amount of wood we've already been harvesting from this tree though. Normally the best time of the year to take willow cuttings is actually in the winter time when they've lost the leaves. And then you can take this wood and actually just make foot long cuttings and stick them straight in the ground. So willows are multifunctional. You can grow them for the wood. You can also grow them for the fodder. Livestock loves to eat the leaves and also the bark as well. The sticks are actually very useful then to use for wood, for example, either for kindling, which is the most expensive kind of firewood. You can also let them grow. We have another video of what it looks like when you let the willows grow and harvest the firewood. They're also very useful for the bees as well, and especially all the pollinators in early spring because they produce an awful lot of nectar from the catkins, which is the flower of the willow. The willows are also tremendously useful as a shelter belt as well to break the wind and especially planting it along the west side of your property. And also it's good for a privacy fence along the roadside as well. How are we doing? How are we doing? Oh, she's always on duty looking for rodents. Oh, here is Mr. Jealous. How are we doing? Ah, uh, you didn't notice I was I was petting her, did you? Levi's always Mr. Jealous, aren't you? <laughs> he's our big teddy bear, isn't he? A big puppy. That's all. He's a, just a giant puppy, aren't you? The second tree today is the elder. So it grows really fast and also from cuttings as well. You can see it behind me here. I grew these actually from cuttings. Look at this, how big a tree you get after only three years. I planted these here as cuttings and look at that. They're already producing a lot of berries as well. They can be used to make cordials and wines and syrups. And they're very useful, and especially during the flu season. And you can also use the flowers in early summer as well. That's the European elder and the American elder is actually very nice for flowers. They have more of a vanilla scent and you can also grow those the same way from cuttings. The other type of elder is actually the American elder and that flowers from midsummer until the end of the growing season here in Ireland anyway. And you can see it in the background here. It makes these big bunches of flowers and they smell lovely. They smell like uh, vanilla. And they also grow into a nice little bush as well. So they're not too hard to actually collect from as well. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good boy, Levi. That's a good boy. No need to clean me lens now. No need to clean the camera. <laughs> were you wrestling or were you running? Come on, this way. Now we'll take a look at the poplar now. That's our tree number, our tree number three today. And this is the hybrid poplar. It produces a lot of wood. You can grow it for firewood and for shelter as well. And it does lose the leaves in the winter time, but even the wood, same as the elder and the willow, will actually shelter you a good bit and it'll block half the wind in the winter time. And we like to cut them back down to about a person's height or hip height, uh, just to, hang on, there's a, you know what that is, sticky Mickey, also known as cleavers. We don't want more of those. We have enough of them in the field and you can see how much growth there is and what thickness it gets to. The poplar is very useful for shelter and for privacy and to block the wind. But isn't it beautiful? It makes these nice big leaves as well. That was only a quick video today. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to support us, you can buy some cuttings on our website. We have the whole winter selection actually available on our online shop now. Or you can join our membership on our website, on YouTube or on Patreon as well. Thank you very much and we'll see you the next time. Bye bye. Don't forget to ask me any questions you might have in the comments below. Here's our outro tree. Do you know what this is? Prickly ash. 
It is vicious, but also it makes these little peppercorns. It's also known as Chinese pepper or Szechuan pepper. We're growing more of these now for next year. Levi, Nina. Good. What are you up to? Well, thank you, Levi, for helping with the grass. Thank you, Levi. Thank you for helping us weed the garden. Look at this wildlife corridor that we created here. Isn't it tremendous? The amount of life here is unreal compared to the fields all around us and even our own garden. But we did let the grasses go here now. That is one thing I have to admit to you. But it is very productive. We'll do a little bit of a more detailed tour of this garden actually in another video. Thanks again, see you, bye bye.